Gotta smack some of this here. <laughs> I think this is hilarious. With a review of the Pittsburgh Pro quarter inch drive spinner handle, this is the telescoping socket driver, as they call it, and I paid $8 at the 20% off coupon. This is a pretty neat little driver. It seems pretty well made. They, you know, they say it's made in Taiwan. It has a pretty thick uh, rubber overmold, which is actually pretty comfortable. It's actually, you know, seems that would be pretty resistant to, you know, pinching your hand. Although I don't know how resistant to automotive chemicals uh, that would, you know, a lot of these type of overmolds are susceptible to things like brake fluid and such, and end up peeling off. And I would hope they tried to make this out of material that isn't quite as susceptible. It seems pretty well made. You know, it, it is does take a quarter inch ratchet that you can plug into the back just to uh, give it extra leverage. It is pretty long. It has like a more of a full size screwdriver handle versus traditional spinner handles, which have or which are pretty short. We can see this thing even fully collapsed is about two inches longer than what would be considered just a standard size for a quarter inch spinner handle. Even so, it's pretty convenient. You know, it has a real deep chrome plating. Uh, really good manufacturer on the ball detent there. We can just see how well centered it is. It has actually a pretty strong spring. The one, you know, real issue that I've had with this is it has a retracting collar, just kind of like how any quarter inch bits. This looks like it's not, it looks like it's 5 sixteenths. This is the eight uh, millimeter hex, and so, it just has a little ball detent and you can adjust it back and forth. Now one thing I have noticed is one, the little snap ring here is super loose, just super like pretty darn low quality and I really worry about dropping this and just having that snap ring pop off and then the little ball bearings fall out and the whole thing is, you know, junk after that. And that's really my concern. So, you know, this retails for 10 bucks and even though it seems pretty nice, it has you know, I'm, a, I'm just concerned about this. It seems that the design just isn't very robust, particularly with just such a poor fitting snap ring. We can see that it's halfway falling off, uh, just pressing on it with my fingernail. The other issue I've noticed is that this little rod, the little locking mechanism, you can just pull the rod out. Let me go to a middle position, but you can just, it just pulls right out. But when you try to push it, it's really solid. So I don't know if that's a design intention or a design flaw i would think if you have this locking collar you put it in a particular position and it wouldn't be able to push or pull out but you can push on it pretty hard but if you yank on it it slips out all the way to its little stop and i thought that was just a, a little bit weird the other weird thing is they have a spring inside so when it's collapsed to its shortest position you pull the collar it will shoot out a little bit but it's a real short spring so i just don't understand why it's there Maybe to prevent this rod from going too far back, although it might be nice if it went a little more flush. So let's, you know, I think this thing for eight bucks is fine. It's kind of hard to find these. They are uh, a lot. They do, you know, the professional tool brands also have these, but I think they have a little bit better fit and finish. The last thing is when you have it all the way extended, it's just a little bit wobbly. I mean, it's fine, but you know, it might be nice if it was a little tighter, although I can say it would be resistant to having a lot of grit inside there. You know, to take this thing apart is, you know, showing how easy it is, is this should exemplify why I'm so worried, but I can just take my fingernail, and this is just a, you know, a piece of wire that's coiled into a circle, is what, and it doesn't look, this particular snap ring does not look like very high quality, but see, I just popped it up with my fingernail. Now we've got the whole thing apart, just with my fingernail, and if you can pull it apart that easy, then there's going to be some issues. So they forged this whole piece out and then they swage to narrow down the end. Inside here there's like a little pin that we dump out and that's actually what retains the rod. And then there's that oddball little spring that's in there. There's actually two ball bearings, a really small one like a two millimeter and then like a two and a half millimeter. So the bigger ball bearing is what sits in this little hole and goes into the divot and actually locks it. The inside of this collar as we can see, it has a couple of undercuts, so when you retract it, the little undercut that's in there uh, aligns up with this hole so the ball can pop into it, and then you, when you let go of it, this really kind of weird looking spring that, they just, that was like too long, so they just cut it, which could also be stronger, uh, pushes the collar back up until the, the larger, the actual ring portion sits on top of the ball, preventing it from being able to pop out. 
Also, it could there is actually a through hole here at the top where the retention ball is, so they could have used a two ball retention mechanism. All they would have had to do is make little divots on the other side, and that would have held it a lot more securely as well. So it might have been nice to see them do that. Anyway, I pulled out that spring. Let's see how far this rod will go in here now. This little pin is just a little bit longer than what would fit crossways to this narrow down section, so that's what prevents the rod from falling out. So you have this through hole in the rod, it goes in there. Align it, drop our little pin in. And then when you have this collar, there's actually two uh, raised or rings inside there. The lower ring is what holds in this little ball. This little ball just prevents that rod from getting halfway caught in that hole when you're using the driver. If it did that, then this extension would get stuck in the fully out position and you wouldn't be able to retract it. So these have a little ball there, just make sure that it stays uh, in the down position. Yeah, that does retract. It looks like we got another, you know, five sixteenths or eight millimeters, maybe even a half inch of more retraction just pulling that spring out, um, which would actually make it handy in a few situations. So there's a little modification. I, you just pull out the spring and then to reassemble it, it's actually pretty uh, straightforward because you put, whoop, one ball there. Whoop, I gotta make sure I have it in. Nope, I didn't put it. There's a certain way to assemble this. We'll get that correct right now. We gotta rotate this this way. So you can have both balls sitting in there. Get that hole lined up there so we can have the little ball there. The large one up there. The spring. As soon as we get this collar on here, then everything's held together. Let me just fiddle this snap ring on. There we go, now I got the snap ring in it. It, it will slip out into the first position, but it's kind of nice. If you just need a little bit more space, you can push that in there. And uh, this is the way I think it should have been in the first place. I'm not exactly sure why they had uh, that spring in there. Quite frankly, instead of using this, you can use a better spring in here, or maybe two ball bearings to make this thing hold a little more securely. Anyway, I'm gonna quit babbling about that. You did see inside it, got my opinion of it. It's okay for $8, but I wouldn't really pay much more for it. It's just these are kind of unique and they are very handy when you wanna have an extension instead of grabbing a spinner handle, putting an extension on it. Of course, it's long because you're trying to get reach sound someplace and inevitably, you know, the extension gets caught on something, it falls off. Of course, it's down deep somewhere. Where a system like this, at least the whole socket and everything's all attached as one, one piece. And so uh, you're less likely to lose anything. If you do lose something, it still is the socket. But at least it's not a socket and an extension. And, you know, if you have a tool pouch or something and you're working an HVAC or as an electrician, uh, this also could come in handy because most times you need it short, but if you need to reach down to an electrical, electrical box or around some, ben, uh, some duct work or something, this could really, could be a time saver. I did want to mention that. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.